Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Instinct. You know what's fun? Watching a wheel spin. You know what's even more fun? Making it spin with CSS. Because why let physics have all the fun? Today, we're creating a rotating wheel animation using only CSS. No JavaScript. No complicated math. And definitely no actual wheels were harmed in the making of this tutorial. Before we start, a huge thank you to my patrons. Your support keeps this channel running. If you want free source code and exclusive access to projects, consider joining Patreon for just $3 a month, cheaper than a cup of coffee. Speaking of support, did you know that only 2.1% of viewers are actually subscribed? That means 97.9% .9 of you are watching in stealth mode. Subscribe now, or I might just make a tutorial on how to subscribe to Channel Code Instinct. Just To properly organize this spinning wheel animation project, we need to maintain a clear file structure. This ensures that the browser can correctly locate the HTML file and the image used for the animation. The index.html is the main HTML file that contains the structure of our web page. The wheel.png is the image file of the wheel that will be used as the background for the wheel element. In the HTML body section, we structure our spinning wheel animation. The main element here is a div with the class wheel, which serves as our rotating wheel. The body tag acts as a container for all visible content on the web page. Since div is a block level element with no default styling, we will fully control its appearance using CSS section. Now, let's go through every CSS rule, property, and value used in this animation in a step-by-step -step manner. First, we style the body to ensure proper alignment of the spinning wheel. We set the display property to flex, which allows us to easily align items within it. To position the wheel at the center of the screen, we use Justify Content Center, which horizontally centers the content, and Align Item Center, which vertically centers it. To ensure the body covers the entire screen, we set its height to 100% of the viewport height. By default, browsers apply margins to the body, so we remove them using margin zero. For the background, we apply a light gray color to contrast with the spinning wheel. Next, we style the wheel class. This element is given a width and height of 300 pixels to define its size. The background image is set using the background property, which loads wheel PNG as the image. We use no repeat to prevent the image from repeating and center to position it properly. The contain value ensures that the image scales proportionally to fit within the div without distortion. To make the square element appear circular, we apply border radius 50%, which rounds the edges into a perfect circle. To create the spinning effect, we use the animation property. We assign an animation called spin, set it to last three seconds, and use a linear timing function to maintain a consistent speed. The infinite value ensures that the wheel keeps spinning without stopping. Finally, we define the spin animation using at keyframes. The animation starts at zero degrees rotation and gradually rotates to 360 degrees, completing a full spin. Since this animation is applied infinitely, the wheel will continuously rotate at a smooth, steady pace. And there you have it. Our spinning wheel animation is working perfectly, smoothly rotating just as we intended. All done using only HTML and CSS without a single line of JavaScript. With CSS keyframes and transform rotate, we've created a clean, continuous motion that brings life to static images. Now, you can apply this technique to your own projects, whether it's for a fun, interactive design or a creative UI effect. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. Drop a comment and hit subscribe to keep learning awesome CSS animations, web development tricks, and more. Want exclusive source codes? Join our Patreon for just $3 per month. Let's keep coding, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next one.